Well, I'm here amongst the mummies at the Royal Ontario Museum to test out their new Scopify app, a well-crafted smartphone application that adds a set of virtual lenses to your phone so that you can scan these ancient artifacts, see past their many layers, and discover the intricate story hiding beneath. As you explore the museum and take in its many wonders, keep your eyes peeled for tiny QR barcode stickers on the display cases. You'll find them in every major gallery throughout the museum. Then take out your iPhone or Android device and using the Scopify app, scan these codes with your camera. This activates a set of virtual research tools that allow you to explore a specimen the way that museum staff do. For the dodo bird skeleton, one of the few left in the world, you can use Scopify to apply skin, feathers, and flesh with a turn of a dial. It helps you imagine what this extinct bird might look like if it were alive today. A second lens animates the skeleton, allowing us to travel back in time to before the 18th century and recreate, based on what we know, how the bird would have moved, how it would have sounded, what kind of food it would have eaten, and how it might have socialized with others. There's a detailed inventory that shows all the active exhibits, and if you need the help, a built-in map to show you which level to go to and which part of a gallery to visit in your hunt for QR codes. What's brilliant is that every exhibit gets to use a different set of tools to tell its story. So if you scan the mummies, Scopify will turn your device into a portable CT scanner, allowing you to see what is normally not put on display, the inside contents of their coffins. I love that you can pinch and zoom the screen to get right up close for better detail. Use your device as an instrument, as a scope. We call it a scope different kinds of scopes that allow you to, um, to you know, do a periscopic view of something that's very high up or allow you to skin the, um, skin the skeleton of a, a creature like this one behind me or allow you to animate uh, the Foodlongosaurus down in the, in the lobby where you actually see what it looked like when it lumbered along. We don't want to take people out of the museum and into their screens. Uh, we want to use the screen, use the mobile device in a way that really enhances their museum experience, that makes them see deeper. A great example is this diamond brooch, protected behind glass in the Golden Gems Gallery. If you scan it with Scopify, it will turn your device into a microscope, allowing you to increase magnification and zoom in all the way down to its carbon atoms. If you scan it with a UV light, you'll see its composition, but also the way that it glows and fluoresces. And a full 3D scan is there for those who would just love to take it home with them. But wait, there's more. If you scan five exhibits, you'll unlock an extra section of video games with tasks like digging for dinosaur bones or puzzles where you match up the footprints of different animals. These are very familiar, successful game concepts, but designed to help you apply what you've learned at the museum. We had to balance sort of uh, creating a fun game with realizing that there was we were in a museum setting and we wanted people almost to learn without knowing that they were learning something. So. We tried and we put a lot of effort into balancing play with uh, sort of learning by stealth. So you have, uh, in that example, you have um, three bats to choose from. Each of them fly and use echolocation in different ways and each of them fly in a different environment and eat different prey. Um, so it's a, it's a side-scrolling flyer. People are used to that sort of game mechanic, um, but in the process, uh, perhaps you'll learn something. Um, similar to the crossbow game. Um, it's about target practice and choosing a crossbow and, and having fun, but at the same time we made sure that one of the crossbows was one of the crossbows that the ROM had in their collection. And each of the crossbows has different specs. Their reload time is different. So um, you learn about the reload time and the difference between the Chokinu and the medieval crossbow, but you don't learn about it in a very sort of pedagogical way, in a very uh, we hope you learn about it in a fun way. And like all great expeditions, you get to leave the museum with your scans still saved to your phone so you can continue to study these wonderful items forever.